Today, we take you to meet the founder of a Western chess club in Taiwan. Gregory Shenkowicz moved to Taiwan five years ago. Since then, he's been a tour guide, YouTuber, and a chess teacher. And now he's founded a Western chess club in Taipei. FTV reporter Stephanie Yang caught up with him to find out more about his club. You start the clock. Okay. Uh, here is also checked by the queen. We have very fast check. Four moves. Press the timer and the chess game begins. Grigory Shinskevich guides me through a game of chess and teaches me how to win in just four moves. Skinkevich founded his Western Chess Club in October. At the entrance, there's a wooden clock and tournament-sized pieces imported from Poland. Wooden chessboard with very classic analog uh, wood, uh, chess clock. Walk farther in and you'll see four tournament-sized tables and an electronic clock. All the pieces are weighted. 18 players can play here at once. In addition, there is a projector that is used for solving chess puzzles and playing chess positions on a big screen on the wall. Skinchevich renovated this space himself. The beginning was very difficult because when I rented this place, it was completely abandoned. This room was not in use for like six years. It was completely dirty. I had to move a lot of trash from here. I had to repair walls. I had to paint walls to change floor, change light, change air conditioner, really everything. So it took me three months to repair all the, all the facilities here and to equip this, this room. There is two, two types of classes. One is a one-on-one, when we play just with one student, and it's uh, on place and also online. Uh, besides that, it's also group classes, and group classes is only on place uh, here. Pintevis grew up in Poland. He started playing chess when he was eight years old. He moved to Taiwan five years ago and has since been a tour guide, YouTuber, and chess teacher. He hopes that through his chess club, he can train up-and-coming chess stars and help them shine on the international stage. That's, that's a big goal. I would say it's even my dream to find uh, new students which can start chess from, from the beginning. Of course, I can also coach those who already have chess knowledge. But I think um, the greatest is when someone completely new is, is coming and you start from, the, from, zero, from zero point and then can go to tournaments and see some successes. I have to say, I have few very promising students which started playing chess uh, with me, and I believe this goal is completely doable, at least in Taiwan. And I started to import handmade wooden chess. The, the set we, we see here is completely handmade. It's a, it's a cherry wood. It, this wood even smells like a cherry here. And for me, it's very important because I don't want to promote the chess as a game only, but the chess as a culture. But when I was looking for the area where I can open my studio, the most important for me was to be somewhere in the center of the city. As a YouTuber and tour guide in Taiwan, he brings his patrons to hidden gems in Taiwan. His videos are in Polish because he wants people in Poland to see the beauty of Taiwan. And first of all, I started my YouTube channel here to show Taiwan to Poland because this country is pretty unknown in, in Poland, so that was the first step. And after that, I started to get messages from people who are visiting Taiwan and asked me, hey, can you show us the city? And I was thinking like, okay, why not? And that led me to my first spin of job here when I started to be a tour guide. The only one Polish speaking tour guide in Taiwan, so I, I got the niche. And I'm still guiding in, in ta Taiwan, Taipei and other cities too. In fifth year in Taiwan already, I feel nice in this country, in this area. I like the convenience of life here, because even living in Taipei, which is a big city, it's enough to take MRT and be at the sea in one hour, or one hour to be in the mountain area. So uh, I believe, despite being a small island, Taiwan has a lot to offer, and I still want to discover more. Having lived in Taiwan for five years, Skinchevich hopes to continue introducing Taiwan to the world and to promote chess. FTV reporter Stephanie Yang and Zhen Chen Luo in Taipei.